Hello, we are back and your next um, tutorial is going to be the smoke tutorial, which is where you are creating um, smoke using the pen tool and the brush tool and just manipulating things so that you can get it to look like that. It's really cool. Pretty simple if you really follow the directions, but I must say you must follow everything to a T or else it won't work. So I have my illustrator open and then I also have the directions open. It just makes your life a whole lot easier if you can put both of them up, whether it's on your Chromebook next to your laptop or whatever you're doing, but instead of going back and forth between windows, just to have both of them up. So I'm going to go file, new, and it told me to open an A3 document. So we're going to go size and oh, they took away A3. So legal is A3, so you'll just do legal and we'll say okay I want to then make Illustrator a little bit smaller so that I can see everything move my document over make sure I can see my whole document alright so the first one is make a rectangle that covers whole background find my rectangle tool it also says that it needs to be black so I double clicked made it black I need to cover the whole entire rectangle And while it is selected, I am going to go to Object, Lock, Lock my selection. There we go. Now, when I am working, I will not be able to, um, I won't be able to move it. So I just went and changed the view so that the whole thing is in here. I'm going to take my pen tool then, and I'm going to make a vertical stroke, which means it's up and down. So I'm going to click hold the shift button so that I have a perfectly straight line you can tell that I can't move it in any way perfectly straight longer the better and then I am going to um, just select that line so come up here to this tool have it just selected I want to oh yeah fill is blank blank and this is needs to be white the stroke needs to be white and then I need to change how thick the stroke is so I'm going to come over here and I am going to select this and I am going to type in 0 0.05 millimeters it makes a difference please put in millimeters all right and you should see that it converts to a point while it is selected still you should it shouldn't be selected if that happened if it's unselected somehow continue click on it to select it. I'm going to press enter and this little screen will pop up. I need to type in the same thing 0 0.05 millimeters for horizontal. Um, vertical is 0 and I do not want to press OK or press enter. I need to click copy. It's important. And then while this whole thing is selected I'm going to press Control D and you can see that my line is moving what this is doing is it's duplicating my line and instead of copying and pasting and copying and pasting when you paste things you will notice that it's not exactly right next to each other it's somewhere else on your document duplicating it like this um, is keeping everything right next to each other so it looks like I'm making this big shape but in fact it's a ton of tiny little 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 lines and I know I've been holding this for more than 20 seconds but I want to make sure I have enough room to create my little wispy smoke that I want so I'm gonna stop right around there I need to then select all of these so I'm gonna take my mouse select everything that I have and then while they are selected I need to go to my transparency menu if you can't see it it's right here on the side and I need to set the opacity to 8 8 and I also need to change this up here change the blending mode um, and change it to screen and then again keeping everything selected I'm going to go to object group so now they are one big group you can see that it's hardly there but you can still see it so that's awesome so I'm gonna grab my pen tool um what does it say here oops I went down on the wrong side go back over here so I'm on step 11 so we're gonna push it all the way up 
All right, pen tool. Oh yeah, my wispy curvy shape. So I'm gonna make a wispy curvy shape here. Um, and what I am doing is I'm just taking the pen tool, dragging it and clicking it. Um, and then I, it says, that it needs to be a closed shape. It's two lines side by side, but it's a closed shape. So I'm not stopping what I'm doing and creating another line. I'm keeping this together and I'm mimicking it as I go along because that's what you want. Smoke is not like super um, complicated, really. So I'm gonna connect those. I don't like how big this is in the middle. So I'm gonna take my direct selection tool I'm going to take a click on it and move my handle in a little bit. I'm also going to take this point and I'm just going to click on it and I'm using my arrow tools to get it a little bit skinnier. I'm going to do this here too. I'm going to bring it in just a little bit. There we go. Bring my handle in a little bit. Okay, so I like that. Um. Okay, so I need to have no stroke, and it needs to have a light gray fill. So we're going to go to a light gray-ish here. So you can see that it's pretty pretty heavily different than this, that we put a screen and we changed the opacity on. I'm going to put this on top of my box. Now if it doesn't fit, like my bottom doesn't fit, I'm just going to take it and squinch it up. If your sides don't fit, take it, squinch it in. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the selection tool and I'm going to select both of these things. I want to go to object. I want to go to envelope distort. And I want to go to envelope options. My fidelity, my blend fidelity should be set to 100. I'm going to press OK. I also want to go to back here, object, envelope distort, and I want to say make with top object. And as you've done this, here's your smoke now. Um, so what we want to do, and we want to, you can either click F5 and your brushes palette will hand up, show up, or you can just click on the brushes. It's completely up to you. I'm going to make this big so that I can see the space here. We're going to take this and I'm going to drag it underneath here. All right, I want to make an art brush. Click, press OK. I'm going to say, all right, I want to make sure that the direction is going up and that the mode here is tints and shades. I'm going to press OK. Now what I can do is I can take this I'm going to make it smaller so you can see. So I selected my brush. I don't know if you guys saw that, but this is my new brush that I make. If I hold on top, you can see my label is on there, McKnight Smoke. So I'm going to bring that in. And now if I take my brush, I can make these cool smoke patterns. So this is all that you would have to turn in. Um, just whatever you're making, your designs that you have with your brush, this is all you have to turn in. The thing is, the unfortunate thing is, is that you can only find your smoke brush in this document now. You can't transfer it to another document, but you can always save this. And then if, like, say in the future, we were making a project and you wanted to use this, then come back in here and delete everything. Your brush will still be over on your palette because you saved it there and start over and do whatever you want with it. So um, it's just a really cool way to manipulate the brush tool and create these really cool effects. There is no rubric for this. If it doesn't look like smoke, you're not going to get an A. If it looks like smoke, you'll get an A. Pretty simple as that. If it doesn't look like this, you need to start over. Like literally, delete everything, start over. Makes a difference. Um, that is my only suggestion to you. Do it over and over and over again. Really get it to look how you want. But other than that, this should be just something that's fun and experimentive and uh, just a learning process. As always, ask questions if you need to.